Thanks for joining me for another Tax Syndicate instructional video. In this episode, we're going to cover how to use QGIS to compress a GeoTIFF. So you may be asking yourself when you would be using a GeoTIFF and why you need to compress it. GeoTIFF is a typical file format export for aerial imagery. The imagery typically comes from satellite, fixed wing, or UAS aircraft. Many times the files are extremely large because of the high detail captured by the camera, the overall area covered, or a combination of the two. Imagine trying to use a gigabyte file and trying to share that across your team using ATAC. Depending on your network, this could be a non-starter or just take way too long. This is where file compression and QGIS come in. Since the screen resolution of your ATAC devices are much smaller than large screen monitors, we can really compress these images with negligible difference in clarity. In this video, I'll be taking a 975 megabyte TIFF captured by a small UAS and then using QGIS to compress it to 10% of its original quality. Let's cover a little bit about QGIS. QGIS is an open source GIS software that is on par with Esri's ArcGIS Pro. The beauty of QGIS is it's free, so you can download it directly from QGIS.org and try this out for yourself. QGIS is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. For this video, I will be using a MacBook Pro with an M2 chip. We will do some comparison between both images so you can see the difference for yourself. Okay, let's get after it. The first thing I'm going to do is launch QGIS. The first thing we need to do is get that TIFF into this recent projects window. The easiest way I found to do that is just drag it. So I've got my map here, this ortho TIFF, I'm going to just drag it right here. Minimize this, and right now it's trying to render this map. It is really large and it's gonna take some time. So on the lower right here, I'm just gonna unclick render. Now we'll stop that process. The next thing we want to do is right click where the map layer is here and we're going to save it as another format. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to hit export, save as. Up top we're going to choose rendered image. The format is GeoTIFF. If you wanted to choose different formats, this is where they all are. Choose GeoTIFF. We're going to choose where it goes and what it's called. So I want to go into my maps folder here. We're going to just call this map 10. And that's representative that it's 10% uh, of the original value. We're going to hit save there. And we're going to scroll down. We want to make sure this create options is checked here. And we want to go to profile, drop down to JPEG compression. And right here, this JPEG quality, it's already set to compress it at 75% of its original value. We're gonna drop this down to 10%. And then you can leave this add save file to map and you hit okay. And then you have a little progress bar down here. And when that's done, we'll render the map on here. Um, because it's been compressed quite a bit, it will render very quickly. All right, it's done. You can see I've got this map 10 and the original here. I can choose to render map 10. Should go pretty quick. There we go. I can turn that rendering off if I'd like. We got it turned off. All right, so let's look at the, the difference in file size real quick. So here's map 10. I want to get the properties and information. You can see it's 22 megabytes for map 10. We'll unclick this. Okay. And now let's look at the original. And we are at 930 megabytes. I think I said it was 975. My error there, it was 930 megabytes. We went from 930 down to uh, 22. All right, next steps are to get this um, MAP10 over to uh, my ATAC device. That can be done in different ways. You could put it on a thumb drive and transfer it direct. You could use a number of different software to get it over off your computer. You could put it on a Google Drive or a cloud service. 
You can put that on your tax server. It really doesn't matter. We're going to get it over onto the ATAC device. And I'm also going to put this original on the ATAC device so we can kind of do this side by side comparison. So you can see really that you're not losing that much clarity by compressing it this much. All right, now let's hop over to ATAC. All right, we've got ATAC open now, and we've got both of these files in here, and they came over as image overlays. Got them listed here. I've got the outlines on, so it's easy to see where uh, the image frame is. And you can see we got the map 10, which was 10% of original, and then the uh, that original ortho photo. So we'll turn on the original ortho photo first, and we'll zoom in here and allow ATAC to start rendering it. And this is a large file. It said it was 930 something megabytes. It'll give a sec for uh, ATAC to render it. This is an S21 um, plus phone. All right, so now you can kind of see the scene here. And let's zoom in on some stuff so you can kind of see at the original level what sort of, what sort of clarity you have. So very clear, crisp imagery, you know, from depending on what zoom level, you know, you're getting some really, um, some high fidelity here. So let's look at the top of this shed as an example, kind of a comparison between um, the 10% reduction. All right, so we got the original on now, and now I'll turn on the 10% reduction and turn off the original so those are the those are the the differences right there so really i i consider it pretty negligible and again depending on what your mission is and how much fidelity you need you can kind of play with those settings in qgis and kind of get that sweet spot of um of compression we do this also with building floor plans as well where you know you can really reduce um, the file size for building floor plans those tips and get them down to you know just a few megabytes when they came originally at 40 megabytes you get them down to two and you have that same level of clarity because you're looking at it on a much smaller screen well i really hope this video was helpful and you have a better understanding of how you can use QGIS to optimize your TAC deployment by compressing these uh, large TIFF files. Until next time, thanks for watching.